Coach, 78-74 was the final of the game, and you had five players in double figures. It seemed like even at halftime it was a spread out affair. Has that been your team's MO throughout the season, basically spreading the wealth and you know picking each other up as the game went along? We always emphasize sharing the ball. We think we are at our best when we're getting multiple guys touching it. Multiple guys are playing to their strengths. So I thought the first half we were able to kind of establish our groove a little bit. And St. Joe's did a good job. They tried to disrupt us with some pressure. They forced some turnovers. And I thought once we took some deep breaths and settled in, we were able to generate some great shots. But we really tried to get everyone getting good looks. And one big thing we've been emphasizing all year is set your teammate up for success. And I thought this game we were able to do that. So you're a whole lot of you know what it's like to play in a tournament because uh, I think your last two years, uh, Hobart did make the tournament. One win, I think, uh, in the first year, second year, no wins. What came from your experience that you could share with your team as a how to, you know, persevere in this moment? I try to keep my composure. It's new to them. I tried to act like I've been here, which I have been, but uh, I didn't pack a jersey this time. I packed a, a nice suit and a sport coat, but uh, I tried to make sure that they knew what the schedule was ahead of time. So all they could do was focus on the preparation and what they had to do to win the game. Um, as a whole part of them, I'm really excited about it as a player. I cherish these moments. But like you mentioned, the first I got was the second round. So we got a little motivation practice. We'll do something the program has never done to get to the Sweet 16. And that's going to be our focus as soon as we hit our pen. I have my pillows tonight. As we're recording this, SUNY Canton is warming up with Springfield. The winner of that game, obviously, you play on Saturday night. Any preference as to who you play uh, tomorrow night? And is there something about either one of these teams that you know going in will make them especially tough? We don't have a preference. You don't determine how the bracket's laid out. You don't determine who you play next. You just get prepared, stick to your plan, and go with it. Um, I don't really have any insight yet. I probably have a great staff. You know, we break that stuff up, so tonight we won't get much sleep, but we're ready to go tomorrow. And how has the experience been for you uh, going from Hobart to uh, Springfield? It seems like a very hospitable atmosphere. Has it been pretty good in terms of your own experience with this? Yeah, we're loving it. And the first place of basketball here, James Naismith, uh, this is what you want as a basketball fan. A lot of the game is given many things to many people, so we got to be able to soak this in and appreciate it. I'm trying to lead the calls as the leader of our program. Uh, this is something I'm always going to remember here. Uh, I know our program, our school, are proud of this moment, so I'm trying to be where my feet are, as the great Coach Hannah would say, but I'm soaking it all in and appreciating it all. Coach Hannah, there's a name for the pass there, and I love the jacket. I, I don't know where you found it, but it's a great jacket. Congratulations, it. Thank sir. You. Thanks for having me. Good luck, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate it.